Hey everyone, we are outside in our front yard today because we are finally going to overseed our yard with fresh grass seed. Yes. It has been a blazing hot summer here and our grass has just not held up to the heat, unfortunately. Um, so today we're going to be overseeding for the fall and um, Brian, why don't you tell us why fall is a good time for overseeding? Yeah, so it's obvious that the cooler temperatures is the number one reason for overseeding in the fall, but it's also so that the uh, grass seed can spend the whole winter establishing its roots and really focusing its ener energy there. Um, and fescue is actually a cool season grass, so it grows better in the cooler season anyway. It gets blazing hot here, like Tyler said, and so during the summer, uh, tall fescue can tend to sort of burn out in places, and it definitely did that in our yard this year. Um, and one of the reasons it did that, I think, is because we had our irrigation installed last year, um, and they tilled up a lot of the existing soil, and you guys know we have clay soil, so it just brought all of that hard clay soil to the top of the grass and just to the top of the ground, and um, there's no nutrients left. So our process this year is gonna look a little bit different. Instead of just aerating and overseeding, we are going to aerate and then spread a beautiful layer of topsoil over the ground. Uh, and then we are gonna overseed and hopefully all of that beautiful seed gets established inside that new nutrients that it's got. So I know that sounds like a big process and a lot of products to get, but we actually found an amazing product from Soil3 Organic Compost um, that packages it all together for you. So um, they actually have something called a big yellow bag and that comes with 4,000 square feet of topsoil and it's really nutrient topsoil that is uh, top of the line. Um, and then they also uh, send you a bag of grass seed and a bag of lime, and you can even buy a spreader. They deliver it right to your house, into your driveway, wherever you tell them to put it. Um, and it just makes it super, super easy to get all you need in one place. You literally just schedule the truck, it arrives and drops everything you need, and then you can do it on Sunday, just like we are. Yep. So why don't we step back here and we'll show you each piece of the package before we get started. Okay, so you guys just saw us get the big yellow bag delivered and it was such a cool process watching him get the bag off the truck and dropping it on the driveway. Uh, it was a super easy process in terms of ordering. We just picked out our delivery date and they let us know a window when they would be here. Um, this bag is roughly 4,000 square feet of topsoil. And if you don't know how much you will need or how big your yard is, there is a really cool calculator on the Soil3 website where you can roughly calculate the size of your yard and it will tell you exactly how much topsoil you might need. Uh, which is why we went with 4,000 square feet. I think that will cover most of our yard, at least definitely the spots where we need it. Um, they also dropped a bag of Pennington Tall Fescue Grass Seed. Um, this bag is 25 pounds. Um, if you didn't know, you can look on the tag to see the composition of the seed that you're getting. Um, and this seed is really nice because it is 0% weed seed. Believe it or not, some grass seed does come with some weeds packaged into the seed. Um, and obviously that's not good because when you're seeding grass, you're also seeding the weeds. So this one is going to be a really nice, clean seed mixture. And then they also dropped us a bag of lime that we'll be using as a fertilizer in the end. Um, and then we have this nice little spreader here to spread out all of the seed and fertilizer, which makes it super easy. Um, and then the big piece of equipment that you're seeing here on the right is an aerator. And we rented this from a local big box store for the day. Um, it was less than $100. So this is a pretty inexpensive uh, project that is going to make your yard look beautiful. Um, so we are going to get started by actually rolling a drum in the backyard. Uh, you guys know that we have a vole problem and... We have quite a, a lot of soil that is pushed up out of the ground from all the tunnels that they dig. So we're going to just fill this up with water and roll it over the soil before we get started. Um, and then the next step will be aerating. So we're going to kind of go in this order here that it's laid out. Drum, aerator, uh, compost, seed, fertilizer. <laughs> and I didn't even set it up this way, but it just worked out. So uh, why don't we take this drum to the backyard, fill it up with some water, and we'll get started.
All right, so we used the drum to roll over all the spaces in the backyard that had been sort of worked up from the vole. Um, and you can see it flattened it really, really nicely for us. There's probably like, I don't know, hundreds of gallons of water in there, so it was really heavy. Um, and next thing we're gonna do is mark with a flag where all of the irrigation lines are, um, while all the sprinklers are rather, and then uh, we're gonna get started with the aeration. And before we do that, I actually wanted to show you the patches in the yard so you could see the sort of, the difference in where there's nutrients and where there's not nutrients and how the grass is actually doing in those different spaces. All right, so Tyler is out there in the yard putting flags out where all of our sprinklers are. Um, and you can really see the difference in the grass here where there's nutrients and where there's not nutrients. You can see there's really healthy grass coming in right here in a big circle. Um, and then right here, we have some really unhealthy grass, barely anything left. All of this over here has been struggling all year. Um, and that patch right there has been as well. And I'll tell you, um, that is because these are the areas that were dug in the most to install the irrigation lines. So that space out there, they were looking for the water access um, that actually ended up being right here. So this little box right here is an access to our water system. You just take it off which I can actually do for you. You just take that off and the water main is right there so you can turn it on and off every year for your irrigation. Just cover that right back up. So the areas that are doing the worst are the areas that were worked over um, by the, the people that were installing the irrigation system and they just turned up a lot of dirt and what we actually found was a lot of rocks in the dirt. So we are hoping by adding this really nutrient topsoil from Soil 3 this year that we will ha add it heavy in those spaces and we'll give some nutrients to the ground and then we'll aerate and overseed everything and hope that it comes back really strong next year. And we'll probably in about two to three weeks, we'll see all of these seedlings start to pop up and everything will be super healthy and we'll give you guys an update then. So I think the next step here, once Tyler is done flagging everything, is to go ahead and aerate. So we're gonna get started. All right, so we have gotten the entire yard, front and back, aerated. And you can see the machine is a little bit hard to handle. It is very heavy. Um, and then you also fill it with about 30 gallons of water in order to weigh it down and make sure that those prongs really dig down into the soil. You want them to get down about an inch and a half or two, and that's probably the best. There's some areas of our yard where um, it's been super compacted, and so it was really difficult for it to get down that deep. But I think we got most of the yard covered, and now Tyler just got some shovels so that we can get our compost spread. So normally you would actually spread the seed first and then spread your compost very thinly on top of the seed. But since we are using the compost to level out parts of our yard that were a little bit deeper than the other parts, we're gonna go ahead and do that step now. And then if we need to come back later and cover the seed just a little bit, we will. We have overseeded in the past and we haven't covered it with topsoil. I think this topsoil is gonna add a lot of nutrients to the yard. And so uh, whether you do it before or after, you really just wanna make sure that you have good coverage and that the seed um, is touching the topsoil um, and not covered too much. So I think we will have good coverage there and we should be good. All right, here's this topsoil. All right, so the beautiful thing about this bag of topsoil is that they drop it right in front of your house, but you can also just peel back these layers here and look at how dark and luscious that is. I think it's gonna be so nutrient for the yard and we've just got this clay soil and for years we've been sort of struggling with all of the rocks that are in it and um, just trying to make sure that we get nutrients in it and fertilizing. We are very regular about our fertilizing and we also kill weeds every year. Um, pretty much all year round and so I think this is really going to help the soil and provide a lot of nutrients back where we uh, sort of tilled all of that really hard pan soil up. So we're going to get this spread on the yard and we will check back in.
All right, so we have just gotten all of our topsoil spread. Um, it was quite the job. It was probably a few seconds for you guys, but it was a few hours for us, so we're a little tired. Yes, and a few hundred pounds of soil. Yeah. Um, but actually, 4,000 pounds like spread perfectly over... 4,000 square feet. I'm sorry. Not 4,000 4, pounds. <laughs> it felt like 4,000 pounds. <laughs> 4,000 square feet was actually perfect for almost the entire yard. Yeah. We really I, focused on uh, the problem areas on like heavily. And so like any areas where we just had really big problems last year and we could tell that there was just like no soil left or it was really compacted. We spread a lot there and then we spread a very thin layer over pretty much the rest of the yard. Yeah, yeah. The soil uh, calculator on the uh, Soil 3 website worked out perfectly. I mean, it was almost exact. So, yeah. Yeah. So we'll show you the yard as it is, but our next step is really just to spread fertilizer. So we are gonna spread um, lime, and then we're also gonna spread a starter fertilizer on this. Um, if you do a soil test on your yard and figure out that you need lime too, that's probably the best bet for you. We have really, really uh, clay, like dark clay soil, which is really acidic. Um, and so lime will really help the seed get started um, and hopefully open up the nutrients in the soil. Um, and then the starter fertilizer will do the same thing. Yeah, so you'll see us spread three things with the seed being the last thing. And we're going to spread the seed last just because we don't really want to walk over it and compact it too much. Um, we want it to touch the soil, obviously, but if we walk over it over and over, uh, spreading all the fertilizers uh, after we spread the seed, it just feels like it would compact it too much. So I'm not saying that's the right way, but it's the way that we're going to do it. <laughs> and we are by no means experts. This is just what we are doing and hopefully it works out in a positive way. Yeah, and actually, of course, you can find tons of resources on YouTube, but there is a whole landing page over on soil3.com, um, and so I think you can find all the information on overseeding and using topsoil there that you want. I think there's even like a 10 minute long video that you can watch yep. um, and get all the information you need. All right, so this was the problem area that you guys saw before. It was pretty much just dirt and there was no grass left. So we went super heavy there with the topsoil and the nutrients. Um, and then the rest of the yard, we just did a pretty thin layer of topsoil. We did a little bit heavier here, you can see, because it's just a different color than the whole area. Um, and the grass is actually coming in pretty good in this patch right here. Um, so yeah, I think we'll have really good success with this and we are going to go ahead and get started spreading all of our fertilizers and the seed. All right, guys, we are done with today's project. We have finally, I know we have finally overseeded the whole yard, front and back. We got all of our fertilizers down, we got all the seed down, and I think all that's left now is to water everything. Mm -hmm. So, I usually take care of all the irrigation settings and <laughs> planning and whatnot. So, I think what I'm gonna do is every four hours, water for two minutes in every lawn zone. And the reason why we do that is because you want to keep the seed moist mm -hmm. um, until it has sprouted. Usually for about the first two weeks, we do that. Um, unless it's just growing really good and then I'll cut it back a little bit less. Um, but if the seed does dry out, once you've gotten it on the ground, it's not going to sprout. Um, so it's really important, important that you keep it moist, which is another reason why we do it in the fall. Because in the summer, there is no way that we would be able to keep the seed wet enough for it to grow. Um, so, over the next couple of days, we will start to see grass seeds sprout. Um, last fall, I think that we had germination in three days, which yeah. is the fastest we have ever seen it. So, fingers crossed that in a couple of weeks, the yard is lush and everything looks beautiful again. Um, it, we certainly put a lot of work in today, so I'm hoping that our labors will be fruitful. Yeah. And if you guys are interested in the super sod package with the Soil 3 compost, the tall fescue blend, and the lime, um, be sure to go to the link that we will put below. Yes, we will put the link below and it will have everything there for you. It's one package that you can buy. It covers 4,000 square foot. Yep. So if you've got a bigger lawn, you might need to buy multiple. Um, but like I said, there is a calculator on the website and I will include that link as well in the description. 
um, and they will take care of you. They were amazing when they came to our house and dropped everything off. Yeah, it's just so easy. Everything, the only run we made was actually to rent the aerator. Mm -hmm. All the supplies were here. There was no heavy lugging of topsoil bags or anything like that. So um, we are super thankful for that resource and be sure that you uh, go and visit the, the link. So with that, we are going to wrap up this project. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope this inspired you. I hope it gave you some knowledge. Um, I hope that we were helpful in some way. Like I said, we are not experts in this by any means, but this is what we are trying this year. Um, we have overseeded our grass ourselves for the past couple of years and it has worked out so far. Um, so if you liked today's video, make sure you click that like button below and also subscribe to our channel so you get all of our content that we upload on a regular basis. As for now, we're going to sign off and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.